breaking news from the Columbus Zoo this midday. Colo the gorilla, an icon and a favorite at the zoo, has died. Colo had just turned 60 in December, and she died last night in her sleep. NBC4's Katie Farrell is live at the Columbus Zoo, and Katie, Colo was a main attraction. This will be a tough day for everyone out there at the zoo. Oh, absolutely, and not just a tough day here for the zookeepers, for the people that tirelessly cared for Colo and the other gorillas here in the enclosure, but for people across the world, Colo made history when she was born, the first zoo gorilla born in human care back in 1956, the oldest zoo gorilla in the world, as you mentioned, died in her sleep overnight. So many of us tuned in, thousands of people, to watch her birthday celebrations here, so it does come as quite a shock. She exceeded her normal life expectancy by more than two decades. Many of the gorillas you're looking at are actually related to Colo. She, um, there is a designated area outside of the zoo, we've learned. There are so many people that want to pay their respects to the animal. You can do that outside if you want to remember, if you want to leave flowers, anything uh, that speaks to you, you can do. There is a designated spot for that. And 16 endangered gorillas, as I mentioned again, many of them related, remain here at the zoo and aquarium, and uh, that's what you're looking at now. Now, there are several keepers who, you know, took care of her. Um, uh, we know that this is a tough day for them. We're hoping to speak with some of the folks that knew her best coming up a little later today. We will bring you more coverage this afternoon on NBC4 News at 5. But again, a really tough day for folks. Uh, this was a beloved member of the community. You know, so many people knew the name Colo, and uh, she will be greatly missed. Ellie. All right, Katie, thank you. And obviously, very sad news that we're following this morning. Today we are remembering Colo and her extraordinary life. You can find pictures and stories about her, including her 60th birthday celebration. It is all on our NBC4 Facebook page and on NBC4i.com.